Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Every day, Kari for every guy. Interesting video, right? So I got a, a EDC Q and A. This video is going to be a a mail time. I just knocked my light. A mail time. A Q and A pocket dump. O light sale information. It's going to be a lot of fun stuff. But I got a Q&A from um, a gal, read it out to you. Hi Ryan, there's been a video going around on social media this week where a guy was trying to defend himself with a knife from three hijackers in Klerksdorp. Please could you provide some guidance about what to do in such a situation, especially about when to draw your firearm and if one should do so, your advice and knowledge would be greatly appreciated from Shrey, 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 fuck me, Shrey, Shrey, bro. S-H-R-I-Y-A-N. Okay, that's the person's name. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I can't get it out. Okay, so I deliberately went for a super low quality video because I didn't own the rights to that video and I blurred the, the guy's face out as well. Um, here's the thing. If it is a robbery, before I go further, guys, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a legal expert, I'm not a police officer. I'm a simple everyday guy, EDC. So the opinions you are going to hear are to be taken as such. Um, if it's a robbery, I'm giving them what they want. Listen, I've been hijacked. Okay, life goes on. I was hijacked in 2010. Okay, I'm here in 2022, right? Um, so life goes on. Give them the, the 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 material things. Just give it. But as you watch that video, you realize that there's someone else in the car, and now that potential hijacking is a potential kidnapping. Now, the way I was raised, man protects children, women and other men. More often than not in that order. Now, I know we live in a world of non-binary and all whatever. Listen, for me, I'm old school. Man is man, woman is woman. Okay? So if my niece or nephew or my mother or my father or Michelle is in that car, then I'm using lethal tools to prevent that person from being kidnapped. Okay? Um, and I'll justify, I'll have to fight my, my, my battle in court afterwards. Now, one thing I do want to talk about this guy is you, you can see from the video, he's like, he's, he's all go, you know. There's three bad guys and just this one guy with a knife or some kind of edge tool by the looks of it. And he's like, listen, you're going to kill me or you're going to run away. And that is, a, that is for me is the lesson here. If, when you, if you ever have to do this, you can't half ass it. You have to basically switch over to animal mode and be like, listen, I'm going to win this day or I'm going to die trying. That's my opinion. Um, when to draw the firearm? Go with the go with the rules. Is someone's life in danger? If someone's life is in danger, an imminent danger, then you need to use a equal amount of force to deter that danger. I consider kidnapping as a threat to life. Sorry, okay. And I will fight that battle in court if I have to. Um, but. Yeah, when I initially saw it, I thought it was a guy just trying to defend himself. And then I thought, okay, it's a, it's a guy preventing a robbery. But then I realized there's someone in the car. So that changes things. Um, so my blanket answer is if it's for material things, just let them take it. Trust me, I've done legal course. It is not worth it. If, thing, if, the, if you are even remotely in the wrong, you're going to have such struggles in life. You're going to wish you just let them take your, your, your car or your possessions. If it's a threat to life, then, you know, then all bets are off. Then you need to do, in my opinion, what that guy did. Beast mode, do whatever it is, whatever you can to protect uh, yourself and your loved ones. Before I open the package, it's from Woodsman Wears. Always classy stuff from Woodsman Wears. I want to talk to you about the Olight sale. It's actually happening right now at 8 o'clock on Monday the 25th. Guys, um, YouTube doesn't monetize me. So I've got an OLED link. That's literally the only form of income for this channel. You know, everything you see that gets created is via that, um, that, that OLED link. I don't get any other kind of income. So if you or you, if yourself or you know someone who's going to buy something in the sale, please be so kind as to send them my link because it would be nice to make something out of it. Full disclosure. Um, if there's anything ever that isn't on sale, the code EDC for the EDG gets you like a 10% discount if you use my link, Like, but whenever, right? You can do it whenever you want. Okay, so first and foremostly, the Warrior 3 is going to be discounted by 35%. Really, really cool. Light Quintenton, the gun guy, did a recent review of this, so go check that out. Then this ultra cool, this is, this is the star of the show, guys. The O-Lantern. 
that's going to be reduced 25%. Let me tell you, this is the star of the show. Okay, I love this thing. Not, not because of how convenient it is, but, but partly because of how convenient it is, but just because of how stylish and like cool it looks, man. Yo, this thing is epic. I love this thing. And then also the um, Olight Zilla that I've been EDCing for the past few weeks. This is going to be discounted by 25%. And in the Valkyrie Turbo, which you're seeing popping up in your screen right now, the link, I reviewed it yesterday or last night. That's going to be discounted 10%. I'll leave my discount code as the first comment in the video description below. I'll leave it as the first comment on Facebook. And if you're watching on Instagram, please pop over to my YouTube channel. It's in my link in bio. And then um, purchase something on my link. I'd really, really appreciate it. Let's open this package. Guys, I think there are multiple things inside here, so I'm going to open it and show it to you one at a time and take an EDC Q&A between each thing. Guys, if you want to ask, if you want me to ask and answer your question on the channel, just pop me a DM on Instagram or Facebook and I will do so. Just put EDC Q&A in the um, question and I'll ask your question. How's it, Ryan? Seem like a waste to just send you shaving gear, so we added some little extras for shits and giggles. Enjoy, Luke. Luke, I always appreciate shits and giggles. Woodsman wears EDC leather, what I like to call EDC dump tray. That's good. This is going to see a lot of use. I've got some of the most amazing leather things out there. You're going to see a lot of that in pictures. Hugely thankful to Luke. Let's, that's not enough. Let's, let's take another thing here. That's not bad. We do have quite a few things in this package. Wow. How sweet is that? Hydro vacuum bottle. That's cool, right? Woodsman Wears, guys, if you don't know who they are, they are the sellers of the classiest gear you're going to find on the interwebs. I will leave the website linked down below dude q a time i'm close to converting to the red dot fan club need your advice i've seen a lot of guys say you need transpress side sites some do one third co-witness sites and a bunch just run standard so it doesn't mess up the field of view of the optic i know you run co-witness sites but what's your understanding of why and what's the wrong way to go about it the wrong way to go about it it's a lot of money and not many people in SA are talking about it from Sheldon. Okay, so Sheldon, let's talk about it. So the purpose of co-witness sites, right? The purpose of co-witness sites is so that if you need to use your iron sites, if for whatever reason your red dot, you look through your site and you're expecting to see your red dot and it isn't there, you have a pair of backup iron sights to use, okay? Now, the term co-witness is often used incorrectly. People think co-witness is simply slaving their red dot to their front sight. Now, very often your red dot will be in line with the pillar, the front pillar. So, I mean, if your red dot is, is here, if that's your dot, and your front sight is here, right, now you've got, you've, Something's not right here, okay? Um, but more often than not, your red dot will be in line with your front side pillar, but the altitude, the distance above or below it, more than likely above, will vary depending on your zero distance, okay? I zero for 25 meters. So my red dot sits about four, three to four millimeters above my iron sight. Listen, it doesn't affect your field of view. If you think about iron sights, right? Shooting with irons. Basically, like half of your field of view is, is taken up by the ions and you are focusing on them. If anything else, switching to a red dot, even if you have suppressed side sights, it's just going to open up your vision. Yeah, I don't know what suppressed side sights people are running. My, my sights, and it's going to be hard for me to show you, so I'm not even going to bother, sit at the bottom of my red dot. Okay, they are, it's clearly visible, but um, how do I show this? If you look at the height of the, the rear sight, okay and the height to the front sight, they, they show up at the bottom. So I still have my whole window that's clear, right? So if you're going to mount your dot lower, 
But then again, listen, nobody has taller suppressor height sights than me. I have got the tallest suppressor height sights you are going to find. So more than likely, you aren't going to have that issue. I would highly recommend going for a set of backup iron sights. I think they are vitally important um, because two is one and one is none. And we are dealing with a piece of electronic equipment that can fail. So that's my answer. Bundu Beard Shaving Soap. Nice. Oh, man. You know what that smells like? You know those sweets? They like, they they like pink, and they come in like a packet that they all stack on top of each other. You bite them, they like they like powdery sweets. What are they called? I can't get to the, what they're called, but. Hmm. And we've also got a set of Gillette Menorah blades. Smoke signal hot sauce can never have enough. You know, my grandfather had one of these, and my father had one of these. This is the OG of freaking shaving tools. You rotate it, right? It opens up and then the menorah blade fits in there and then you close it. This is, this is class, okay? This is a close shave like nobody's business. That's super cool. This is really, really cool. I really dig this. An applicator, a shaving brush, you know, you... You swirl it in the soap and then you, nice. Okay, check this out. How epic is that, guys? That's so freaking cool. That is like freaking cool. I really dig this. Huge thanks to the main guy at Woodsman Wears, Luke. I really, really appreciate you sending me these cool things. You will definitely see them on my channel let's do the pocket dump and we can end off by the way guys hoodie right i have created the best hoodies ever made by a man i've been wearing these things for the past four days all day i never get hot and i never get cold it's perfect okay let's do the pocket dump i hope you guys can see and i'm sorry for the sound changing slightly um left rear pocket is going to be as always my leatherman scully tool Left pocket is Phoenix PD-35. Um, belt, Core Essentials. Holster is a Bravo Concealment Torsion Holster for the Surefire X300. Clip mechanism is the um, Neomag Alias from the folks over at uh, SA Tactical Institute. Knife, Olight Zilla, and wallet in the wallet pocket of my, come on, of my Urban Warrior, uh, what is this, Recon, is the Crewman wallet from Strauss & Co. It's on my website if you want one. And then a standard steel battle pen. Guys, that is it. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Um, like I said, please try to support me on um, the Olight sale. It's basically my only source of income on the channel. Or if you buy something, buy one of my hoodies. Right there on my website, www.edcfortheedg.co.za. I really would appreciate your support. As always, I've, I've gone for a hoodie that allows you to conceal and still access your firearm without any issues. Stretch, not too hard, not too cold. For me, the perfect hoodie for a South African winter. That's it, guys. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.